The WS-64U and WS-62U tools are universal tools that have the capability to perform both end stripping and mid-span stripping on a range of cable types and sizes. The tools use two different but easily interchangeable blades for end and mid-span stripping. The WS-62U will handle from 0.5 inches to 1.5 inches, 12.7 millimeters to 38.1 millimeters cable outside diameters. And the WS-64U has the ability to handle from 0.5 inches up to 2.5 inches, 12.7 millimeters to 63.5 millimeters. Operation of the two tools is the same. For removal of outer jackets from medium voltage cables, the WS-64U will be configured with the end stripping blade. Select the jaw position for small or large cable diameter. Depress the spring-loaded trigger and place the tool on the cable. Tighten the jaw locking knob to keep the jaw securely on the cable during stripping operation. Using the knurled knob on the top of the tool, adjust the blade depth so the blade is approximately 1 32nd of an inch, 0.8 millimeters, above the concentric neutrals. Depending on how the cable was cut, it may not be perfectly round. So rotate the tool counterclockwise and check to assure the blade is above the highest neutral on the cable and adjust as necessary. Then begin to rotate the tool clockwise while applying a slight forward pressure to engage the blade in the jacket material. During the first revolution, advance slowly and adjust the blade as necessary to allow jacket cutting while keeping the blade above the neutrals. After one complete revolution, assure the blade is not contacting any concentric neutrals and continue stripping. After the second revolution, loosen then re-tighten the jaw locking screw. This will allow the tool's jaws to grip the cable with a tighter, firmer grip. For long stripping length operations, it is recommended to tape the neutrals down. Once the desired length of strip is reached, turn the tool into a gloved hand or, where precise strip lengths are desired, Ripley's Quick Clamp. Loosen the locking knob and remove the tool. As an added bonus, this tool will also end strip insulation from medium voltage cables in much the same manner as outer jackets. It is especially useful for softer EPR insulation removal on large conductor sizes. It is recommended to leave the semicon layer on when stripping EPR. Set the WS-64U up in the same way, adjusting the blade to 1 32nd of an inch, 0.8 millimeters, above the conductor. Slowly feed the tool by applying a slight forward pressure to engage the blade. Continue stripping by applying this forward pressure until the proper length of insulation is removed. End stripping of secondary voltage outer jackets or spacer cable is performed in the same manner. The WS-64U or WS-62U converts easily to mid-span operation by changing the blade. Simply loosen the hex screw, remove the end strip blade, and place the mid-span blade on the tool while keeping the underlying blade bushing in place. Tighten the new blade. Care should be taken with the mid-span blade due to its sharp cutting edges. Set the WS-64U for mid-spanning by placing the tool on the cable to be stripped. Tighten the jaw locking knob to keep the jaw securely on the cable during the stripping operation. Use the knurled knob on the top of the tool to adjust the blade so it touches the outer jacket. By continuing to turn the knurled knob, a gap will open between it and the tool body. This represents the depth of cut the mid-span blade will achieve in operation. By estimating the necessary depth above the conductor, adjust the blade. Begin to rotate the tool and apply a slight forward pressure on the knurled knob to engage the blade in the jacket material. As it engages, carefully watch to assure the blade does not contact the underlying neutrals. Adjust as necessary. After one complete revolution, assuring the blade is not contacting any neutral or conductor, continue stripping. Once the desired length of strip is reached, turn the tool into a gloved hand or Ripley's quick clamp. Loosen the locking knob, depress the trigger, and remove the tool. The same basic operation applies to single covering cables and secondary voltage cables.